How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I built this robot. And I'll give you guys a brief overview of how it works. So at the start, the first thing you guys see are four pieces of bananas. These are two bananas cut in half. The reason for that is that the base is too small. It's only 10 centimeters wide, 10 by 10. So yeah. The first part of this robot that I'll be showing you is the conveyor. The conveyor is a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter base that goes back and forth with two yellow gearbox motors. These gearbox motors don't have the highest torque and they can't produce that much force, but they are decently fast and that's what I need for this. There's a timer belt and these two silver pulleys. Now these two silver pulleys are meant for stepper motors, so I had to 3D print a little holder thing which is connected on the spinning part of the motor. Now that just holds the, and that holds the gear to the motor. The next thing I'll talk about are these two linear actuators that go up and down. It's the same type of mechanism at the top I have this pulley. Now the essential plan for this pulley was for it to move, but I soon realized that it was a bit too big and I didn't want to print it again and again. So it just stays there. It's kind of still. And the belt goes over it. At the bottom you have the same mechanism, the same 3D printed part. What that does is it holds the gear with the pulley, it holds the gear with the motor, and goes up and down. And that's about it. We have this 3D printed part that's holding it onto the up and down mechanism over here that holds onto the blade. The blade is just an ordinary knife blade that we had to cut down to size. It's nothing fancy, you don't have to buy anything if you want to build this. At top we have it. over here we have these two dowels. They hold the blade to make it go up and down. At the back you might be thinking what this is. That's just the dowel to make sure that these two linear actuators don't fold in because there's a lot of force being exerted into them and they're not that strong. On the bottom left I messed up a little bit. This linear actuator. I had to extend a little piece over here, it's a little doohickey, there's three of them. And that just holds that thing off the base. Now let's move on to the wiring, which is at the back over here. Alright, so now let's talk about the wiring. The first thing I want to talk about are these two motors and how they're wired up. So there's two wires away from here, this is the positive and negative end. Now what you might, and now there's something you might realize that these wires and this motor is green and red wires, they end up connecting on the same output over here. Now basically, they're connected in a way where whatever I write in the code for one motor happens to the other motor. So this L298N motor driver shield is meant to control one is meant to control one motor at each end, but you can easily change this up with the wiring. And the next step is the same thing. The next piece of wiring is the same thing. These two, this next pair of motors is connected the same way. Whatever happens to this motor happens to this motor. It's nothing different except over here I soldered the wires on instead of connecting them because I felt like soldering it. That's it for the l 290 n motor driver shield. Over here you see these this bunch of wires. On the left rail, this is all the GNDs. And on the right side is all the 5 volts. So on the left side you realize there's uh, 3 wires. One is going from the Arduino's GND to power this rail. The other two are one from the RC, is one from the IR receiver which is over here. Which is controlling the whole thing. So clicking one on this remote makes the whole thing cut bananas, I guess. Now with that being said, let's move on to the final thing, which is the demonstration of how this thing works. Alright, so the first step is to skin the banana, take off the peels, and then put that banana in the middle, make sure it fits. It's meant to cut the banana in four different pieces, which are supposedly equal sizes, except for the back, because it's like that. And that's it, that's the return position. Uh, we can start cutting more bananas. Uh -huh. 